Hey everybody, Luke Tech Gaming here. Back here for another video today. Today I'll be talking tech. Please keep the comments clean and such forth. Um, today I'll be talking tech again. I'll be talking about the iPhone 12 through Spectrum Mobile here. So I've been with Spectrum for about five months now. Um, is it good for me? Kind of is in a way. Uh, sometimes no. So sometimes it is okay. Sometimes it is good. Sometimes it's great. Um, but the main focus is if you want to use Spectrum Mobile, you have to have Spectrum Mobile services like their internet. So that's the internet I have and the house phone I have. So Spectrum Mobile, um, I'd pay their 55 unlimited plus plan. Again, unlimited talk, text, and data. The fake, okay, now we'll, we'll get to data here in a minute. Okay, so once you hit 30 gigs of their unlimited plus, they will throttle you down to 512 gigabits. Okay, so apparently my phone, is, since I have the, the unlimited plus plan through Spectrum Mobile, they throttle me after I hit 30 gigs of data. Once I hit that 30, it's like, oof. It's not even, it's a joke. It's, it's like, I mean, it's good enough, you know, open the web, emails, text messaging, picture messaging, that type of thing. Anytime I get off the Wi-Fi, it is a joke. So that's why I've been trying to watch my data limit. Um, I do have a backup personal phone through Q-Link Wireless, and that is unlimited. So I take that out and about with me, with my Galaxy Note 9. And when I'm out long periods of time, I don't like using my data where there's no Wi-Fi. So I use my Q-Link Wireless service, which is my... The phone that I'm using right now is the Google Pixel 4a, and I'm going to tell you, no offense, every time I'm at home, I jump on that Wi-Fi. The phone works fine. The, I, I mean, I've only dropped one time this month with Spectrum, but when I go out and about, I, use, I usually bring a backup phone in case my phone dies, in case of emergencies. Um, I don't mind... Q-Link at all. I don't mind Spectrum at all, but Spectrum, they need, you guys need to upgrade your plans a little bit, um, where you have a plan that I would say $60 a month for unlimited everything. No throttling. No, no throttling whatsoever. Apparently I talked to one of the cu customer service reps up there where I live, and apparently they said once you hit 30 gigs, um, that's for any carrier you're with. I'm like, no, it's it's a whole different ball game. Uh, that's just with your network. And I hate to say this, Spectrum is fake unlimited because it is not real. You get thirty dollars for this much. Um, uh, you get thirty, let's say fourteen gigs for five. That's all you get. And then we throttle you because we don't care about our customers. Forty five. You get 20 gigs. Oh, we're just going to throw you because we don't care. And then for $55, you're just mainly paying for each gig. That's what you're paying for. I'm like, most of these plans, you can go to other companies. I mean, you're just there just to use the phone until you unlock it. And it's like, bye-bye. But once I get my Spectrum Mobile service paid off, I am leaving. I'm going to Verizon prepaid. I made up my mind already. That or probably T-Mobile where there is 5G, but I'm going to get either T-Mobile or Verizon, but with Verizon, I would, my bill would go down $10 each every three months. So probably Verizon because Verizon is the best in my neighborhood and I have no problems with whatsoever. Um, Total Wireless, maybe, but they don't offer a lot of unlimited. So, I mean, most of these plans, with the plan I'm paying now, Straight Talk has a plan for $55 a month for unlimited. Once you hit 60 gigs, eh, it's okay. But do remember, there are other plans out there that are a lot cheaper for than just paying, you know, 30 gigs. 30 gigs is not, a, that's a joke to me. I use normally about 50 to 47 gigs a month. And it, it, it came close. So, <clears throat> always when I'm home, 
always on the Wi-Fi. It works great. The data works great. That's why I never kick on my 5G. When you kick on 5G, one, you're using a lot of data. <clears throat> Two, it eats up your battery. That's why the only time I turn on 5G in general is if I'm in a congested area. Like, let's say I went to a Reds game and the tower's really congested, then boom, I'm going to kick on that 5G because it'll be much faster for what I need to be doing. And at the same time, I have it plugged in through either my dad's car or a uh, power bank or something because it will eat up that data like crazy. But I am going to say this, stay on topic here, but Spectrum Mobile, it is okay when it comes to Verizon coverage. It does drop occasionally depending how long you're on the phone. Um, I recommend being on Wi-Fi a lot if you're a heavy data user and you're just trying to, you know, get a better plan with their phones okay yes that's a good way to go than paying you know verizon postpaid that kind of money i only pay 76 dollars a month i get unlimited talk text and everything even hotspot um, is unlimited but it's slow it's not made for gaming it's like meant to you know you know get on the whatever you need to do on the computer and then get it off because you're only getting four instead of four you get five with the 55 but like i said this again I think I'm going to switch, there's my Bob Ross, uh, switch to um, probably Verizon once I pay out the phone. I only owe $319 left over on it. I mean, it's a good program if you are on a budget, okay? It is unlimited, but it's a fake unlimited at the same time. I think one YouTuber said it's a fake unlimited. But Spectrum is the way to go for unlimited data. It is $45 a month, and you do save money on it. Um, I would not highly recommend them if you're just going to use them as your personal use. Unless you're not a heavy data user, 14 a month is a good plan as well. But once you get five, they throttle you. But like I said, straight talk, I'd probably go back to them any day because I'm tired of paying. And plus, they offer 5G, and I'm tired of paying, you know that money in my pocket so once I pay off the phone I'm not getting the 13 because to me it's all the same thing they just slap the camera on there and they throw the logo in the back that's all they do and my iPhone works just fine for me so hopefully you all have a great day I'll see you guys in the next video um, there is no Roblox YouTube tonight um, there is Roblox not until oof not until um, Ooh, man, Twitch might be on this week. Not until Thursday night, actually. Um, no, not Thursday either. Dang. So I won't be on until next Friday, this coming Friday. But I know I'll pick one day this week. But I, it might be mm, probably tonight. I'm not really for sure. But I'll be on Twitch this week. You're more than welcome to see me on Twitch. And I'll see you guys later.